Hi Gemini, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, the situation spread. We'll see what happened uh, between you and the, your person. Then in the second spread, we'll look at the advice in regards to that situation. And in spread number three, we'll see uh, new love. We'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Gemini, so here's the situation. We have the Tower, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the High Priestess, clarified by the Ten of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or pretty much any zodiac sign. You will know if this is your reading, Gemini, if uh, your situation came to a screeching halt. Screeching halt. Something got derailed, right? The, your relationship just got derailed. It was like an abrupt ending, abrupt ending. And uh, I think all of this is because some kind of a secret or information came to the surface. Okay, um, most likely you found out that this person has been cheating on you or lying to you about something. Speaking of cheating, cheating and lying, the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck is that card that usually symbolizes somebody cheating, lying, it's a card of a deception, it's a card of somebody who sneaks around, it's somebody who pretends to be something they're not. All right, the first card I came out is the Tower. The Tower could have been a Scorpio you were dealing with, but the Tower is when things fall apart, right? It's a card of uh, demolition, all right? And uh, the Ten of Swords right next to it is the same thing. With the Ten of Swords, something comes to an abrupt ending. And it's a real, it's pretty much impossible to salvage anything after that. With the Ten of Swords, it's just done. All right, and there is no turning back. The Page of Swords, clarifying uh, the Tower, could have been a message, but most likely it's information, right? The Page of Swords could be a card of spying, keeping tabs, perhaps. You decided to investigate yourself and you found out something, or it could have been somebody uh, messaging you or telling you some information and uh, that's what caused this abrupt ending. Um, we have uh, the High Priestess clarified by the Ten of Wands right next to the deck. The High Priestess could have been uh, Pisces here dealing but the High Priestess is a card of a secret, you know. Uh, something did come out to the surface, right? And uh, the Ten of Wands clarifying that. I don't usually clarify the High Priestess, but <laughs> I did make an exception this time, right? Uh, the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. And uh, that pretty much confirms that uh, whatever you found out about this person or whatever somebody told you, it, it was just too much of a... You, you couldn't handle that in terms of that was just a deal breaker and you're like, no, 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 no. You, now that I know this about this person, it's just impossible for me to carry on with this relationship. Okay, um, so yeah, pretty devastating to be honest with you, Gemini. Um, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the second spread, Gemini, this is the advice. We have uh, the Moon, Temperance, the uh, Four of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords, and we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. Well, you decided to show up for your own reading, <laughs> Gemini. The Lovers on the bottom of the deck, that's one of your major arcana cards, right? And uh, it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. I believe the advice for you is to um, um, go somewhere. Yeah, I think you need a change of scenery, uh, like seriously. Um, and uh, you don't have to go far, you don't have to go for too long, you could just have a spa day or go somewhere to some kind of a retreat, uh, stay with your friends, stay with your family for a day or two or longer if you uh, want to. But that's what I think this, this advice is all about, right? The moon, the first card I came out, could have been a Pisces. Again, you're dealing with, but the moon is also a card of secrets. And the moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck. And considering what happened to you, I think this is more, more of a negative emotion. So ev everything reminds you of what happened where you're at right now. And that's why I think you need a change of scenery. Temperance, um, you know, it's, it could have been a Sagittarius you're dealing with, but temperance is a card of healing. It's a card of healing, right? And then we have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. The Four of Swords is also a card of healing in a way. In the Four of Swords, somebody's just laying down, uh, relaxing, and uh, healing, right? And uh, it's clarified by the Six of Swords. It's a card of moving on, moving forward. But for whatever reason, those three cards, the uh, Temperance with the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords, are talking about you actually going somewhere. So you don't stay in that, in that environment where everything reminds you of what happened. Um, all right, so yeah, you can just go for, for a ride. <laughs> I don't know. 
But um, yeah, um, I don't think that person is coming back. And uh, honestly, I don't think you need someone like that in your life. And I'm, I bet you already know that. All right, we're moving on. Uh, spread number three is new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread, Gemini. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, Justice, clarified by the Four of Wands, and uh, we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we also have Libra and uh, Aquarius. Um, this is serious stuff. This is some serious stuff. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, the first card I came out, is, uh, you know, the most serious knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term, always talks about strategizing and planning ahead. All right, and the Knight of Pentacles also talks about money. <laughs> so perhaps this person is wealthy or they've got a steady job or something like that. Right, but again, with the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, this person is not messing around. Um, they do want to plan ahead of you, with you. They do want to have a future together with you. They're clarified, the, uh, I mean, the uh, Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups. Somebody reaching out to you, asking you out on a date, or if you're socializing by yourself with, with your friends, somebody approaching you with the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups, to me personally, is all about flowers. It's all about them being super nice to you. Um, you know, giving you compliments, being very attentive. All right, then here where the heavy art, uh, heavy artillery comes in with the six of pentacles, uh, justice, the four of ones, and the star. Um, you know, justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, by the way. But in both of those two cards, in justice and the six of pentacles, uh, there is scales, right? In the Six of Pentacles, the person standing up, standing in the middle, is holding up scales. And uh, in the Justice card, the person um, is also holding up scales in one of the hands. Perhaps it is a Libra. <laughs> okay? But uh, it's going to be an equal give and take. It's gonna, there's going to be balance. There's going to be a respect. Um, there's going to be... And it feels like ev everything by the book, if that makes any sense to you. right? Everything has got to be done right with this person. Again, this person is not fooling or playing around, right? Um, justice is clarified by the uh, Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a commitment or marriage card. That's what they want, right? To me personally, the Four of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding, okay? Because uh, in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath this canopy, the structure, and uh, the structure pictured in the Four of Wands always reminds me of that, right? Justice could be the legal system, right? And by what I mean by that is uh, when people get married, they sign a piece of paper, right? And then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government. So justice could be that local government, right? The star on the bottom of the deck could be um, a card of healing for some of you. But uh, the star is either an Aquarius you're dealing with, right? The star is a major kind of card for an Aquarius. But uh, at the same time, it's a wish come true card. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So if you wished for someone serious, somebody who knows what he or she wants, somebody who wants to plan with you, somebody who wants to have a future with you, um, somebody who is very grounded, right? Uh, then that wish will uh, come true, okay? And don't forget about the equal give and take. <laughs> If you've been wishing and hoping for someone like this, yes, this person is the one. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Gemini, for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing month.